the Russia-Ukraine war has certainly changed a lot of things. Japan has a consistent insecurity about regional security. Besides, with superimposed on the resentment of national power being overtaken by China, Japan has started to act as a spokesman for the US to constrain China and tried to pull in ASEAN and India to counter China. So, can Japan succeed in all these approaches? Can Fumio Kishida's ambitions and aspirations come true? Japan and the United States recently announced the launch of the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework and issued a joint statement against China at the same time. In an instant, Japan was in the headlines of the world. Why did Fumio Kishida do this? Where will Japan head to? According to the ASEAN Secretariat's data, China overtook Japan and the United States to become the largest trading partner of ASEAN from 2009, and by 2021 the trade volume between China and ASEAN forms a three-fold gap compared to Japan. If the trade volume is exceeded three times by China, even the investment to ASEAN, which used to occupy the top position, Japan and the United States are also surpassed by China respectively. And Japan's investment to ASEAN only occupies the sixth position, with only $8.52 billion. A survey conducted by a Singaporean think tank revealed that China ranked first with 77% of the country surveyed with the most economic influence in ASEAN, while Japan only occupied 2.6%. Of course, the reality is even harsher than this. In the past Japanese cars flooded Southeast Asia, from the last two years China's new energy vehicles began to gradually pry the market share of Japanese cars. Japan failed to sell even one new energy vehicles in the whole of Thailand, but Chinese car manufacturers began to sell and set up factories. Such a reality for Japan wants to achieve influence ASEAN countries to confront China, is this posse, bull or just a daydream? People need to be self-aware and so does the country, but will Japan wake up to this reality? See graphs as below. Japan appears to be somewhat obsessively confident that ASEAN and other Asian countries will support its claims. Japan was the fastest rising economy after World War II, and when it launched its investment in Southeast Asia, its economic output reached the second largest in the world. This investment the Japanese government took 15% of net development aid spending to ASEAN, and many Japanese cartoons were successfully exported to ASEAN. However, in recent years, with the decline of such aid, especially due to the epidemic at the end of 2019, Japan's absence of vaccine diplo may see, resulting in a decrease of economic presence in Asia. But Japanese government officials seem unconcerned. The WHO plus 2 talks are no substitute for the benefits of economic cooperation, and it is clear that the world has changed, as evidenced by the lack of active participation of various ASEAN countries in the Indo-Pacific framework this time around. Have no media or institutions seen this? Would the Japanese government be alarmed? The Japanese media then saw this harsh reality, and the background of the time to move past. Any ideal and ambition must be linked to ability, and a good ideal must be proportional to effort and ability. The reality that ASEAN and many Asian countries regard China as their most important paw partner is the result of a combination of geopolitical and economic ties. China is not only the most important partner of many countries in Asia, but also the most important economic partner of many countries in the G20. You may find it hard to imagine that the customer who gives you the MAS T money for doing business with you is the one you want to make an enemy of. The biggest problem Japan is currently facing is the import of energy and raw materials. The continued depreciation of the yen has led to a continuous rise in the price of imports, causing high domestic inflation and slow economic development in Japan. In recent years, Japan's population has continued to decline, with the birth rate falling for six consecutive years to a record low, the overall decline in Japan's university rankings, and a shortage of technological population, among others. Therefo, Ray, the once glorious cannot always guarantee high-speed development to see the gap between strength and ideal. Do government officials not see the problem when Japan does this? Although facing a great development crisis, relying on the seriousness of the Japanese and the spirit of research, Japan still has the strength that cannot be underestimated in many high-tech aspects. Japan in the way out lies in the pro-US rather than anti-China, otherwise it may only, like the egg fall upon the stone. Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement RIFT, has been fully launched, including China, Japan, South Korea and ASEAN of this agreement is undoubtedly a good opportunity for Japan to maintain economic interests. Japan's calculus is to back tea, the dynamism of the Asian economy, pulling together the United States to form an alliance against China. However, the window of the world seems to be closing up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like.